Man, the, the gloves were so big. Nothing's been given to me. Uh, we, we earned everything we got. My thing is, if I can hit you and you not hit me at all, then uh, that's that's the best way I like to do it. A lot of my opponents want to go toe to toe. Uh, I think if I can, like I said before, hit you and you not hit me, or I make you miss several punches and make you pay for those mistakes, I think I'll be winning the fight. My deepest feeling, if I didn't make it at all, whether I made it or not, I still would have been with Mr. Mack because that's the man that guided me from eight years old, 200 amateur fights, you know, all the way up through my pro career till now. And if I didn't make it to this point, because there's a lot of people that say, you get to the big fights, you're gonna fail, you can't handle it, you can't cut it. And we proved them all wrong. Can you just put it back, Ken? See, once you work with a person and you get adapted to what he know and what he do, and you go with somebody else, it's never the same. If you watch in the boxing game, when fighters run from one man to the other, they never go nowhere. They stop. And here this young man comes along in a time like now and, and, and win a world's title, you know, that's a great honor to me. We're trying to make that money now, and that's what we're trying to do. Vincent can punch, and Vincent can move, but he loves the box. You know, I've never seen a kid love the box no more than he did. talk about D.C. Uh, versus Baltimore quite a bit, basketball, football, baseball, whatever. In boxing, there's no exception, and we definitely have to step up to the plate, and uh, I'm going to hit a home run, and Baltimore's going to be on top again.